All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kakorash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and shout out to you, doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. All right, Yahweh's name, the Heavenly Father, which means He is or He exists, or like uh, uh, um, Sirach, I believe the 43rd chapter puts it, He is all, you know, Yahi, Hawa, to be, exists, you know. And that's what the Heavenly Father is. He's everything. His spirit moves to literally everything. Your table doesn't exist without the Spirit of the Lord being in there, you know. Through his wisdom. Alright, Baha Sham is in the name, Ba in Hada Sham name, Yahweh Shai. His name only begotten Son, which means he delivers. Yah, he, Hawa Shai delivers. And as Matthew 121 tells us, he shall save his people. His people, alright. Which are the Israelites. And Racha Quadash means Holy Spirit. Literally translated spirit holy, Racha spirit, Quadash holy. All right. Um, uh, did I finish the whole salute? Well, just in case if I didn't say the whole salute, double honest to the apostles, the other great millstone, and it's actually just doing this thing in sincere and truth and with charity. Slock, if you hear this fan, you know, what Slocky means, you know, forgive me, you know, pardon me. And, um, I'm just sitting, I was watching some shit on, you know, watching some stuff on YouTube, and low key, Esau was raw as fuck. Esau was raw, man, which only shows how amazing the Heavenly Father is, okay? Because we understand this is Proverbs, and I, I, I'll get into, uh, Lord willing, what I was, what made me, what sparked this. Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, as the rivers of, of water, he turned it whithersoever. He will. So we understand that the Heavenly Father controls all things. The Lord set up Esau Edom. And the Lord gave Esau Edom a hell of a portion of wisdom, man. All right? Hey, this is Job. 32 and 8. But there is a spirit, a spirit of men and inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. So the Heavenly Father has given Esau this wisdom that he has, man. And Esau cold with it, man. Through the spirit of the Lord, you know, you know, the Lord sent out the left hand side to uh, increase Esau Edom to have his power to do these miracles. But in the day, that's the might of the heavenly father. This I'm watching this shit. This motherfucker is talking about he's found a donor for some bone marrow, a bone marrow transplant. The marrow was the shit that's inside your fucking bone. And Esau was able to cure certain shit by... by by weird as manners, man. The what, mirac uh, uh, seemingly, you know, miraculous ways, man. That's why they tell, say doctors and shit, they have a God complex. All right? They work in carnal miracles, man. And it's nothing new. Just like Egypt, they had powers, man. When Moses threw a serpent, it's rod down and turned to a serpent. And the magicians did the same thing. All right? I believe the magicians turned their water into blood as well. You know? So Esau Edom has got that knowledge on the left hand side. All right, we even got like a form of the Urim and Thummim, the left hand side of it, the carnal side of it, which is your smartphones, your TVs. Urim and Thummim means light perfected, and what is all this shit we have is light. And how they set the touch screen shit up? That's crazy, man. You rub it, and, and, and the light changes so you can see different stuff. This is crazy, man. Hey, the Lord gave Esau this wisdom, man. And the Lord is showing his might through Edom as well, man. Okay? Hey, this is Isaiah. 45. Um, I'm going to start at 1. Thus said the Howard is anointed to Cyrus, who is right now. Of course, this is going into Cyrus, you know, but it applies... To all, to all the kings, because the Lord controls the hearts of the kings, whose right hand I have holding to subdue the nations before him, and will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two le levy gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut asunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I Yahweh, which call thee by thy name and the power of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. 
I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. So when we look at Esau and his technology and all this shit that he's able to do, oh, the, 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 how he conquered the world, how he, he tricked the world to get in, in league with this fucking fiat, this debt-based system, the Lord gave him that understanding, man. The Lord gave him understanding, and it's for our sake. So we can look and see, ain't no way this man just figured this shit out. The Heavenly Father did this, man. And we can look back and, and, and really think if the, if the Lord gave Esau this amount of uh, the blessings on the left-hand side, how much more mightier is the Heavenly Father? How much more mighty is Yahweh Shai? And how much more mightier, Lord willing, we elect will we be once the Lord give us that download, man? I am Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So the Heavenly Father controls the right-hand side and the left-hand side. So we read 2 Thessalonians. All right, I'll just get it real quick. 2 Thessalonians 2 and um, 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, which Malachi 1 and 4, that wicked is Edom. And now we know that Edom is the so-called white man, self-proclaimed white man, because he's not white, he's red. All right, he that dwelleth in the clefts of the rocks, the Caucasians, from, from the Caucasus Mountains, the clefts of the rocks. All right, the scriptures all point, 100% prophecy smack. Okay, so and then shall that wicked be revealed, Edom, the so-called the so white man, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness, them that perish, because they they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. So, looking at Esau, Edom, and seeing the level of carnal, for lack of a better word, greatness that he has, man. This man is a fucking genius. He's an evil scientist. And this, that's the, the spirit of the Lord put on him, man. Because the Lord controls the left-hand side. You know, Esau Edom is the physical counterpart of the spiritual angel Satan, man. The Lord has allowed him to get all this wisdom, man. How much more should we fear the Father, the spirits? How much more should we look to the Father, the spirits that gives understanding and can take understanding? Hey man, this thing real, man. Look, just look at the shit that Esau can do. So how much more should we look towards the Heavenly Father who controls all things? Hey, I'm into with this, man. This is Daniel. I think it's the fourth chapter. Now but you learned that lesson. So Lockie, bear with me. Let me, let me find the right spot to start at. I guess I will just get more towards the point. This is Daniel 4. And, um... 32, and they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with them. This is what was going to happen to Nebuchadnezzar. He had a dream about it. You know, and Daniel broke it down because Daniel had the wisdom. Hey, Nebuchadnezzar said, you got the wisdom of the gods, you know. <laughs> and they shall be driven from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the be with the beasts of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee until thou know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men, and give it to whomsoever he will. The same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar, and he was driven from men, and to eat grass his oxen, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven. And he was grunting, man. He got brought down low. All right? Like, he, he was a fucking animal, eating, eating the fucking grass, 
not even fucking talking and shit, man. Till his hairs were grown like eagle's feathers and his nails like bird claws. This is the Lord turned into a fucking animal. And at the end of days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes to heaven and my understanding returned unto me. So he, he, he remembered the dream. So after that time passed over, the spirit allowed him to look up and remember. And, and, and hey, uh, uh, consider the Heavenly Father controls these things, man. And I bless the Most High and I praise and honor him that liveth forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion. And his kingdom is from generation to generation. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? <laughs> man, so and we got to honor the Lord, man, because he... He's in control, man. He's in control. So we can see the, the, the miracles that Esau can do. You know, even the nukes itself is a, is a small portion of the power of the sun. But that's the Lord. That's Isaiah 54. Hey, I'm going to get that, man. The Lord gave Esau this technology, man. The Lord took Esau from being, uh, uh, let me get it, from being a Nebuchadnezzar animal. To building again, man. This is Malachi 1 and 4. Malachi 1 and... and, and uh, oh, shit. I went to chapter 4. I'm sorry. Malachi 1 and 3. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. So after Rome fell, Edom went down bad, man. They got chased to the Caucasus Mountains. Like it says in Job 30. They were grunting, all right? Brand amongst the nettles. All right, read the 13th tribe, man. They was drinking out their fucking uh, forefather skulls, man. Using them as cups and bowls. All right, but the Lord took them from that Nebuchadnezzar state. We are empires. We will return and build the desolate places. And now look at how great their kingdom is again, man. Right? But why did this happen? Thus saith the half host. They shall build. The Lord allowed you to do it. The Lord didn't only allow it. He set it up. He controls the heavens and the earth and the heavens and the earth like we just read. They shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the board of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. All right. So, yeah, Esau was raw as fuck, but it's the Lord that made him raw because the Lord is all. I, I, we could think of all the, ad, you know, the adjectives to describe how mighty, great awesome the, the heavenly father is we always come short he is all man Whew. isaiah 54 16 behold i have created the smith that blow the coals in the fire so the lord created the motherfucker that created other things man the lord gives the inspiration man and that bringing forth the instrument for his work and i have created the waster to destroy the Heavenly Father do these things, man. This, this, this is this is amazing. So we see the things that Esau can do. You know, hey, that's just showing that's just a small portion, really. A tiny portion of what the Lord can do. So to hell with fear and man, hey, we serve Yahweh Bashmi Shai, the Father of Spirits. Call Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom Baba Ball.